So what's up, lovely people? Back at it again, Sherelle Secret. Hey, girl, laces, Jade. How y'all living? How y'all feeling? Welcome to Turn Your Talk, where it's all about life, lessons, and love, and everything in between. Everything in between, you guys. So, so we're about to do it. We gotta go in a little deeper. Gonna get a little deep. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, a deep. So no games tonight. Yeah. Okay. No games. But, but we got some questions. Okay, so like a Q&A? A or? Q&A. Okay. So people want to know about laces a little bit. Only want to know about me? Oh, you. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> For me. Okay. Well, I'll try to be as open and honest as I can. Okay. I appreciate it. And I know you guys do too. So, if you haven't watched our story time, this is part of our story time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this video will be on the playlist. So. Yes, it'll be on the playlist. Mm-hmm. And if you want more information about this one, that's part of the story time. Mm-hmm. This will be about the do. Let's do it. And I do feel like this would be beneficial for people too. I think so too. Yeah. yeah. Are you ready? Um, as ready as I'm gonna be. But before you get into the question though, I think we need to first <laughs> call it holy. We need to grab some glasses, you guys. I don't know what y'all sipping on, but tonight we are sipping on a vibe. Yeah. Strawberry is it? Strawberry one. Strawberry, my baby. Mm-hmm. Right. A little splash of vodka. Yeah. And some juice. Yeah. Juice for that. Mm-hmm. Some light. Mm-hmm. None too major. None too major. Okay. Okay. Alright, so these questions. <clears throat> yes. Came in. I actually came up with these questions, so are you ready? Okay, well, can I ask you a question? What's so, up? So, why are you doing these questions? Like, where's this going to come about? Okay, so we did have a couple people reaching out asking us more information on um, our life, our story, and a lot on you. When it comes to having a child and being in a same sex relationship. Oh, okay. So yeah. that's where these two cards. Okay, two cards. A lot of questions. Yeah, okay. it's, it's not that many. Fuck okay. it. Okay. I'm ready. I'm gonna be real. I'm not gonna go in and get like that. Okay, I appreciate it. I'm right. a little nervous. A little nervous, palms a little sweaty, but I'm okay. Oh. I'm good. I'm good. It's okay. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> okay. Yes, okay. Alright, question one. Okay. Alright. Places. Yes, BC. What would you. Let me rephrase. Okay, okay. In a relationship. Okay. A same sex relationship. Yes. What will be some of your suggestions to someone on being in a same sex relationship? Oh, okay. So, what would be some of my suggestions? Um. And it's gonna be open. It can be okay. open. I'm not gonna be open. I mean, um, be honest. Like be honest, be open with each other, um, especially um, if it's new um, for one or the other, or if it's new for both of you, um, and allow um, one another the space and opportunity to grow. Um, and uh, give yourself grace. 
I don't, you're not gonna, you're gonna make mistakes, and that's okay. So give yourself credit, and more importantly, learn from your mistakes. Because anything you go through, it, there's a lesson behind it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. How did you feel? It didn't feel that bad. I feel like I would like to take a drink. <laughs> My nerves. <laughs> it's a vibe you say. True. Okay. Yes. Alright, make sure you are honest and open and communication is the most important thing. Yes. Hands down. In any relationship, but especially in the same sex relationship. Um, take your time, be patient with each other. Mm -hmm. We'll be the main thing. Okay. That's yeah, good. Sure. Good, good, good. Good answer. <clears throat> ready for the next one? I'm ready. Sure. I'm positive. Alright. <laughs> so like we'll so. okay. You're All doing right. great, by the way. Yes. Yes. Alright. Second question. Okay. What is your opinion? PDA with and without church? So what? one that has, someone that has church, and someone that doesn't have church. What is your opinion for PDA? Okay, so PDA, public displays of affection. Yes. All right, you guys. So, like me per personally, um, I've never really been into PDA. Um, I I kind of find it a little bit inappropriate, um, especially like around children. I like me personally. That's not something I engage in, um, and I didn't do that even before us. You know, I just, I kind of just felt like, you know, now, okay, holding hands, things like that. But I mean, like, tonguing somebody down and things like that. They, like, like, no, personally for me, that just, I, I didn't feel comfortable with that. You know, so I feel like with PDA, you must find your comfort zone. You know, so if, you know, maybe like a little kiss, like a little peck or something, you know, that's cool. But, you know, grabbing it and being a little raunchy, I, I'm not with that, with or without children. Just like, personally. what's your opinion on PDA, public displays of affection, with and without children? Okay. Well... I would say that it don't really matter if it's with or without truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, PDA should be done. Like, not both. Like, holding hands is cool. Mm -hmm. um, you know, me personally, like, kissing in public, I don't do that. Because mm -hmm. I feel like um, if I do something like that, especially with you, being how beautiful you are, it may it draw too much attention. Okay. And I really don't know how to other issues. You know what I'm saying? So like I keep that for us. Yeah. Nobody don't even know or see. Yeah. Like even when we got married, we we kissed our daughter. We did. She was right in the middle of it. And she was in the middle of the face. <laughs> so I feel like I got robbed a little bit. Did you? <laughs> did you? Of my kiss. <laughs> she did not. <laughs> she did not. Got robbed. Did you? I don't think so. Oh my kiss. It was a beautiful moment though. It was a beautiful moment. Yeah. So I want my kiss. You've gotten plenty of kisses since then. But plenty. That's me just fooling around. Right? Yeah. But yeah, that's how I feel. Alright, so. No, you did a great job. Thank you. Yeah, doing good. Alright, so the fourth one. Alright, fourth question. Okay. What advice would you give to someone with children from prior relationship that is currently in a same sex relationship? Ooh. Would you like me to read it again? Yes, please. What advice would you give to someone with children or a child from a prior relationship mm -hmm. that is currently in a same-sex relationship? Okay. I'll give it. 
Yeah, okay, we're getting this is deep. So um I would say to take your time. More importantly, um continuously have open um communication with the children. Okay. We can't control what anybody else does. Um, we can only control ourselves and what's happening within our space right. and within our home. Um, so, unfortunately, if the other partner or the ex, um, if that's not a safe space for you, then by all means do what you need to do to keep you and your children safe. Um, in that regard, like if communication, like in that route is just not working for you. Um, of course, um, you know, make sure the children are safe, that they understand that any choices that you've made um, are about you. No choice or, for example, the separation from their their ex-mate was not about them. Correct. Um, I, sometimes I feel like kids want to um, feel like they're the blame and they aren't um and i just want to make sure that um especially in the beginning um be honest with yourself be honest with your children um and be honest with your partner like take the time to like get to know each other and um creating those safe space and those memories and um those moments where you guys can all grow together collectively as a family it will most definitely make you stronger even in the hard times like I said um, with one of the first questions um, anything that we ever go through or have gone through um, has been a lesson and you just never know that within that lesson um, you're learning something but you might be able to teach someone else um, and it's always nice to have a community um, or have, once again, like maybe a therapy or things like that um, implemented just to make sure that everyone's okay, like mentally, emotionally, physically and spiritually. That is extremely right. important, not just from the, for the children, but as well as for us, the parents. So, yeah. Good job. Thank you. What advice? Would you give to someone with children in a same-sex relationship? Wait a minute, okay. Okay, so, am I got kids? Yes. Wait a minute, I'm hollering at somebody that got kids. So, like, no, what, what advice would you give to someone with children in a same-sex relationship? So, you're already in a relationship with someone. And she got kids. And they have children okay. or a child prior to you. So, I'm answering from the more masculine. For the more masculine standpoint. Of what? Okay, repeat the question for me. One more game. One more game. <laughs> One more game. All Let right. Me take a sip or I do it. Too. All right. So, what advice would you give to someone who is a more masculine presenting in the relationship who's dating someone with children that's same sex relationship okay yes what advice would I give mm -hmm. okay first off make sure that you are comfortable with kids before getting into a relationship with somebody it's a big one that has kids mm -hmm. and if you are comfortable make sure that every situation is cool like when it comes to um her, her family, that they cool with you, you know, like being around their their child or your children. You know what I'm saying? Like being comfortable. Everybody needs to be comfortable in the whole situation. You yeah. know what I'm saying? People from the kids, the kids gotta be comfortable with you and you know, you and your partner and you know, others too, you know, because automatically you get judged for being first off, being masculine, then Oh, you trying to play daddy? I'm not playing daddy. All right, so okay, she's still on the I'm going to take another drink now. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take a drink with you. Okay, okay. thank you. I'm great. Thank you. I'm really enjoying this. It's it's different from um, what we've been doing. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I have one more question for us. Mm-hmm. And. 
what advice would you give yourself 15 years ago that you know now? Oh. This is an open question. Okay, repeat that one more time, please. What advice would you give yourself 15 years ago that you know now? That is a great question. That can go uh, into relationship. Mm -hmm. Let's put it, let's keep it in relationship, but you can also go other stuff too, all right? Okay. So you don't have to be so stuck on just relationship. Sheesh, man, I've learned so much in 15 years, honey. (sighs) Okay, some, some advice I would give myself back then, 15 years ago. Oh my goodness, would be to just trust the process. Um, I wouldn't, listen, please excuse my language, but I wouldn't change a damn thing. Because everything that you're going to go through, you're going to get through. And even though it might not feel like it in the moment, you're okay. And it's going to be okay because you're not by yourself. And you're going to find an amazing person. For sure. That's going to have their back. That's right. Like in the beginning. And take your time. Remember that you can't control anyone Mm -hmm. or anything. But you can control yourself. And remember that you're okay. Take memory. And remember to breathe. But you are not a co-exist.